uh, the fan can only move the air co quicker so it can push the air in the cool air in quicker or it can pull it out quicker but it cannot change the actual uh, thermodynamics of the device so uh, uh, as obvious as you can see the the least you can do is to remove this cover it it have zero value other than a static value but in, it really hurts the thermal uh, uh, capabilities of this, this of this device so um, what I would do is I would remove this this is the first step you will immediately realize some improvement in the heat dissipation and uh, processor obviously can uh, like uh, go into the turbo mode more often um, but the thing is it's still not enough because the uh, it's quite too often it just reaches the maximum temperature and you are uh, back to this uh, like the much lower uh, cap power uh, capability of the processor so um, after uh, um, as you can guess like I already tried a, a lot of solutions as well and I until I found the almost the most amazing ultimate solution and it's the it's one of the cheapest as well so if you see if you use a fan there is no direct way to connect these fans to the PC, so you can use a, an external power supply or whatnot. But my solution doesn't involve any any deal, dealing with electronics. It's very straightforward. So what you have to do is you buy this. Uh, uh, what do you call it? I think it's like in Chinese here. It's uh, more of like a heat transfer uh, slash adhesive uh, bed. And uh, we're gonna place it above the, the area for the fan here after we remove the plastic cover. So this, this will help us uh, connect the, the area of the fan, the thermal uh, chamber to any solution that we choose. And then we need to buy aluminum heat sinks. So it doesn't matter the size as long as you can cover the, the area. So I think the area is about 10 centimeters by 4 centimeters. So if you can find a, a heat sink which is big enough, then it's perfect. If it's a bit smaller, you can maybe buy multiples, which are what I did here. So I put two 4 by 4 centimeters, uh, which is about maybe like um, 1.5 inches. Uh, 1.75 inches uh, by 1.75 inch and these uh, this, uh, aluminum heat sinks as you can see they are not the traditional uh, just the grooves it's like they are have uh, perpendicular grooves as well so basically each each point of this is a standalone which helps the air flows through here and through here automatically obviously if you add a fan it's much better but just putting it this way can you imagine normally the air sucked from here the internal fan produces it out from here and there's a very tiny heat sink inside so this is the normal thermodynamics and this is on top so basically there is almost no heat dissipation from here from this metal um, uh, top surface but if you add this to obviously if you add them directly they will not be able to, to i mean to stick there and if you use any mechanical force, it's not going to be 100% uh, perfect uh, surface like uh, contact. So the contact between this and that is not going to be perfect. So that's why uh, we use this, uh, these pads. It, it can, I think it can come in different colors and variety of uh, thermal capabilities. So you just, uh, you don't need to go all the way like the, the, the most expensive. You can buy something decent. I think I bought this maybe for like $3 or like uh, 2.5 euros so yeah it's good mm, and uh, so i cut i cut this one this is uh it's actually flexible so before uh, as you can see it's isolated from air so before you open it it's, uh or like before you leave it uh, it's flexible so before it comes in contact with air this is like a glue some form of a glue but it transfers heat so we cut it um, depend on the size of your uh, aluminium heat sink, the one you find, whatever you find. So you just cut it as you can see here. You cut it and I, I tried to leave some gap between them just to, to have them independently dissipate here. And I cannot tell you how much difference is. So exactly I had the temperature after I removed the cover, 
the temperature was reaching normally uh, in ideal it was reaching about 90 degrees 90 degrees for the processor when i added this to now the ideal normal temperature for my computer which runs 24 7 for i've been running i think for almost four years now um it's it almost achieves uh i think 66 degrees so you have a, a effectively 25 degrees reduction without any added power so you don't need to add any fan any complications with the device it's exactly your same device you just added two heat sinks and they are pretty strong and i hook it uh, behind my monitor uh, on a vice so it works uh, very nice um, i don't need to like uh, do any special setup for it so uh, even if you have it on a desk it still works but i mean since i have it uh, behind a monitor i don't really uh, care so much about the aesthetics i just care more about the performance so can you imagine like if you drop the performance uh, if you drop the temperature 25 per, uh, degrees you can imagine how much performance i'm getting out of it so I'm doing a CAD design. So for me, every little bit extra of the processor helps. And um, after I installed this, so I, as I mentioned, I was idling about 66 degrees, but the problem was still that I'm having um, like the CAD still not performing as I would like. So I found out like the, an issue with some applications, which you should uh, be on the lookout for, especially if you are working with a machine like this, which doesn't have excellent thermos, uh, thermal solution. So yes, it's it's okay, but it's not the perfect solution. So you have to uh, keep in mind all the application which sucks out your resources. It's like a browser, mostly like Chrome and Firefox. They are amazing browsers, but they suck out a lot of your computer resources. So uh, you, you should get rid of those while you are doing power applications. Uh, maybe use Internet Explorer, it's much slower and annoying uh, and a buggy, but it gets the job done while you are working and then you can go back to the Firefox. Uh, There's, I think, also Skype, it's resource intensive and some other applications. So you just need to watch for the task manager for whatever application, which is just common sense. Just it will help with the thermal So you need to do a few other stuff, but you don't need to mendle with the electronics or even open a device for that matter. So you just install these two and here you go. Uh, hopefully it works for you uh, please try it and uh, as usual let us know in the comments if it works for you and uh, yeah uh, by the way i was just putting this just to um, to put an element of excitement but you shouldn't put this if you are if you want a full uh, perfect uh, solution also if you add a fan here it might help uh, i i in my experience i have a fan in the office so i just direct it to the area behind the monitor and it's it does the job perfectly uh but it's not really necessary because um most of the time like when i had this before on i when you touch this it's not so hot so it's a uh, the temperature basically cannot transfer easily through plastic uh, but when i as soon as i install this whenever i touch them it's almost like burning so you would have to watch for your hands but uh, obviously it's a very good sign that the temperature is moving from the processor which is exactly under here into the air outside and uh, yeah and that's how it should be so yeah thank you so much for watching and uh, uh, hopefully it's not too long if you have any specific questions maybe you can put them in the comments and i'll try my best to answer them have a nice day ahead bye